But the reason we're in this situation is because of the damn wars. Because of the imperialist United States government. See what, during the Cold War, we were called the imperialists by the communists. And it's really true. We're more imperialist than they ever were. And anyway, then you got third party candidates. There's four third parties. So you got the uh, Libertarian Party. Now that is an offshoot of Ron Paul. Now, the thing that bothers me about libertarians is that the way they look at it, if you can't afford insurance, or you should die. Health insurance, that is. They want the government out of everything. Of course, which means that the big business would be probably worse than it is today. Then there's a constitutional party. They, again, don't want the government doing shit. Then you've got the Justice Party. Now, the, third, the other two parties, I, don't, I can't remember the names of the people involved there. And I don't want to remember them. Then you've got the Justice Party. There you got Rocky Anderson. He was uh, mayor of Salt Lake City. And from what I understand, he was a Democrat, but he decided Democrats and Republicans are the same. So he started the Justice Party. This guy makes sense. He has a lot on the ball, and he believes that the government is for the people not for big business, not for the government. Then you've got the Jill Stein, who is the Green Party. Again, they believe the government is here for the people, not for big business. And they also believe in cleaning up the environment. There's really not a whole lot of difference between Jill Stein and Rocky Anderson. Then you've got the Democratic Party. There you've got Obama. Obama came in with all kinds of promises, and the only promise he kept was getting out of Iraq. But I'm willing to bet after the election we'll be more involved in Iraq again. And Obama likes to assassinate people. He likes killing people. And that's what the drones are there for. They don't really care who they kill. They say that they're going to kill a oh, terrorist. But there's no proof that these people are terrorists that they're going after. No proof that they're part of Al-Qaeda. Hell, I really don't think Al-Qaeda even exists. I think it's made up by the CIA. But then I saw something the other day where CIA says, a guy says that there's no such thing as Al-Qaeda. Anyway, now Obama seems to be fairly intelligent, very intelligent. Probably one of the most intelligent presidents we ever had. Very good speaker. He didn't do well in the first, first uh, uh, debate, but I think he did better in the last two. But all the debates, they both sucked. During the debates, you look at Romney and you know damn well he's lying his, through his teeth. Just about everything Romney says is a lie. Everything he says is contrary to what he said in the past. To me, my first choice would be Jill Stein. My second choice 
would be Rocky Anderson. I don't want Obama to have a second term, but I don't want Mitt Romney to have a first term because he's worse than Obama. I'm afraid that voting for Jill Stein or Rocky Anderson will be a, actually a vote for Mitt Romney because it'll take a vote away from uh, Obama and give it to Romney. So, the way I look at it, I got to vote for Obama. Now, what has Obama done for the people? Well, he put in a health care system that the health care industry told them they wanted. The health insurance people really wrote the thing. Now, he did cut down the health insurance premiums, cut down the money that was paid out by Medicare, but still should be a lot less money. We need a single payer, single payer health system where the government pays the bill, taxes the people. That is the best way to go. We need what they have in Canada. Now, of course, you hear a lot of stories about how Canada insurance isn't really that good and how people from Canada come to the United States for health care who can afford it. But that's bullshit. The United States is probably the only country that does not have single-payer health care. People say, that's socialism. So what? If it's better than the capitalist idea, then it's better. To me, we, we need more socialism in this country. Why? Because the capitalists are have taken over. I was a capitalist, tried and true, but I'm not anymore because of greed. Capitalists got too greedy and now they're, they're running our country. Whether it's Obama or Mitt Romney, the capitalists will be in power, not the people. The banks, they should have let fail. Oh, but that would have caused all kinds of economic problems, not the economic problems that we had. We would be better off taking our money out of the big banks and putting it into the little banks and the credit unions. That's what I did. And that's the way we should all do it because the banks are ripping us off and the corporations are ripping us off, the big corporations. Romney says he's for small business, but he's not. Romney says he'll bring jobs to the United States, but he's been sending jobs to China. How can you believe that? Anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox and I'm going to switch to the trans and dance mix. B97 FM, real radio for real people.